And you don't have to, you know, follow exactly what's there. You can create your own kind of uh, approach to it. And I'm just building up my color. And you can make it as light or as dark as you want if you stick with the mid-tone. And for the skin tone, on this skin, this skin looks very red to me. I don't really see any brown in there. I see mostly reds and pinks. So I'm going to start with this as my darkest color. So I'm going to go like this. This is this area right here. And there's a lot of red. So I'm going to put in a lot of red. This is going to act as my dark color. And she's got some here. And you put just put these lines in where you've got some flesh tone happening. And then I start using these colors to build up. So this looks a little bit more orange. Put that in. Street painting in the rain. I street painted in the snow once. Oh, oh. I was just about to ask you actually. What is the weather condition for you? Yeah. In Korea. It was snowing all around me. I had a tent over me. Okay. So then I'm just going to go like this for some shading of this eye area here. So I'm just trying to put in a big area of color, first of all. And then I'm going to use these two colors for my flesh tones. This looks a little bit darker to me than this. So I'm just going to add this color here as a base. See, I'm using a base color. And this, here, this tool is great for this. So if you want a nice smooth blend, go ahead and use that tool. Then I'm going to work on top of it with this. I'm going to slowly, umbrella. Yeah, slowly, umbrella. slowly get lighter. So I'm just drawing shapes, abstract shapes is what I see. I'm not looking at a face, I'm just looking at lines and colors and shapes. Oh, it's really coming down now. And then you can just keep building up the light. And then this color is my, this color. Gosh, this is funny. It feels good. Mm -hmm. okay. This is actually a painting. That's an oil painting. And it's very large. It's like uh, 10 feet by 10 feet. That done? This is done by a uh, Mexican artist who lives in New York. His name is Victor Rodriguez. Yeah, being sensitive to how colors change and looking at the shapes of things. Like I'm looking at these highlights and I see a shape. It's like some a square kind of comes down, but it's soft. So I'll make that shape. Good one, and for the skin tone, because it's, um, you know, it's an organic shape, you always want to try to keep your areas blended.